Hi, I'm Maya from Shape and Store, and I'm here to give you some quick tips on how to best use your Meatball Master. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to use ground beef meatball mixture, which the recipe is on our website, shapeandstore.com, under Amazing Meatballs. Now this recipe is going to give you exactly the right amount of ingredients that you need to fill one Meatball Master tray. Okay, so this is it here, and you're simply going to pop this in to the bottom tray. And around the perimeter of this tray, there actually is a fill line. So when you're filling it with your own recipes, you'll be able to take a look at where that fill line is. And just make sure you don't overfill it, because if you overfill it, it's going to be overstuffed, and then it'll be harder to separate, and you might have some meat spilling over. So that's tip number one. Do not overfill the meatball master. Now, as you can see here, it's very nice that I can spread this around without having to use my hands. Now, by all means, if you want to use your hands, go ahead, but uh, I want to keep my hands clean for the rest of this video. So I'm just going to spread it out here with my spoon, just like that. All right, so now I have spread all of the meat across the bottom tray up to the fill line here. And again, the recipe on the website is going to give you the exact right quantity that you need to fill the bottom tray to the right amount. So next, the second tip is to when you seal the top tray onto the bottom tray, you want to make sure that you press evenly across the entire container so that you get all of those cutters all the way through. And then that will make sure that it's going to separate when you open it again. So here, see how I'm doing this? Making sure it's sealed on the sides. And then you might move it closer and then press down like this all the way through. So it goes down all the way in the middle, okay? And then you're gonna see it's gonna pop up on these sides, but that's okay. So you're just gonna press down some more. All right, and see how much easier this is than actually rolling them all 32 out by hand. And the other point is that this, they're all gonna be exactly the same size, which means they're gonna cook in the same amount of time. And everyone's gonna get the same size meatballs. So you're not gonna have any fights over who got the larger meatballs. Nice to keep peace in the family. All right, so I press down all the way across. Now I'm gonna open the tray to show you. Okay, here we go. And it's open and portioned out like that, see? Now to get them out, I don't know about you, I like, I just use a spoon here to pull them out and I'm just gonna drop them into my boiling sauce. I have a pot of boiling sauce here and I literally just dump them in like that. If you like to broil them, you can put this on a pan and do that and broil them. So again here, just dump them right in the sauce, super easy. And then you use as many as you want and then you can close it up again. And this can either go in the fridge for I would say up to two days. And then if you don't wanna put them in the fridge, store them for later, put them in the freezer. Now we're going to talk about how to take them out when they're frozen because it's a little bit different when you do that. So I'm going to put this tray in the freezer and get one that's frozen from the freezer. Now tip number three is when the meatballs are frozen, you're going to want to open it upside down. So that's like this. And the reason we do that is because you don't want to be pulling all of those cutters out of the frozen meat. It's way too difficult. So just put it upside down and the bottom tray will pop right off, just like this. See? Easy peasy. And now, so these are the frozen meatballs. You can pop them out like this. See? Pull them out like that. And this again will go into the hot sauce, or you can put them on a pan. If you're having difficulty uh, separating them when they're frozen, you can also hang them off the corner of the cabinet or the edge of the, cap the counter, and then just do this. See, if you lean on the corner, it'll crack from that edge there, so on the corner. And also, if you are having still having more difficulty, Maybe just leave the tray out for 10 to 15 minutes so it thaws a little bit and then it'll be easier to pull out, okay? 
And here you go. See how easy they are to pull out and they're the same size. Once these cook for a while, they will round out a little more. So they will look like regular meatballs. People won't be able to tell that you use this container to make the meatballs. But again, they'll all cook evenly, whether they're fresh or frozen, because they're all the same size. And then again, this can go back in the freezer or you can use it all and make it fresh next time. So those are all my tips and tricks for using the Meatball Master. If you have any questions at all, you can always email us at sales at Thanks everyone.